Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about one important topic in Appian that is what is the roadmap to learn Appian? Okay, what are the opportunities in Appian? Okay, and if you are new to Appian, how much time it would take you to learn Appian and all. So these are the some of the important questions that we are going to cover in this video here. Let's start with the very first question that is nothing but like do I need to know Java or Python or any other programming language at all to learn Appian. So see one thing one thing just keep in mind that Appian is a low code platform. It has been designed on Java or Python or anything something would be used underneath it. But it has been designed to speed up the development. So you won't require Java or Python knowledge. If you have the knowledge of Java or Python, it is good that it is good that it is good to have the knowledge. But in Appian, uh, the approach and the way we do the development is going to be different. So you don't need Java or Python. So no programming knowledge is required here. If you have the knowledge of programming, then that a plus point for you but even if you don't have the knowledge that's also fine here you can start into Appian development without any programming knowledge as well okay so now let's move on to our next question that is like actually if I don't need programming knowledge at all then what actually is required to learn Appian or do I don't need anything at all directly I can start without uh, any prerequisite uh, as well. So actually there is one prerequisite something like uh, see you should be aware about at least the basic database concepts. See at the end of the day here you are creating some uh, business applications only. So in order to create the business applications you will most probably be working with the data. So you should be aware about tables how to uh, create table what are entities in a table uh, how to create relationships and all okay what are different data types we can create in a table so these are the some of the basic things eh, that you need uh, in order to learn the Appian part then only it will be easy for you to understand the data model as well apart from that you will also require problem solving skills as well see problem solving skill is uh, you can learn only through the practice only for example uh, if I take the example here let's say like one problem is there that uh, I have to find a particular number is even or odd here right a very common question so if you have to go through some other uh, high code language okay and here one enter number and then up different way the format the syntax is a bit different now same thing if I have to do that in Appian so how I will do that first of all I will create something as rule input I will put the value and I will write if condition something like this so at the end of the day what you see in this one the concept was basically same an odd and even number is determined whether it is divisible by two or not so here also they are making that division and here also I am making the same thing here so concept at the end of the day is the same just how you will interpret that problem into Appian that is going to change here other than that nothing is going to change so this kind of problem solving skills you should uh, know about or if you even if you are don't have that much knowledge so you can practice and get this knowledge now let's move on to our next question that okay fine I got to know about what is a prerequisite I will get to I will get some da basic database concepts as well and all but how much time it will take to actually learn Appian so see in order to learn Appian if you are new so initial you can say that in order to get aware about the environment or create some basic CRUD operation like create customer update or delete something like this functionality take about one month of time okay you will create records interfaces process model you will get to know different nodes in process you will get to know different uh, functions in interfaces and all in for expression rules as well you will get to know a lot of things so take about one or two months of time in order to basic building about the applications once you have got to know about the basics of application building and all into Appian then finally you can move ahead of the advanced development so that will you can take about six months some people learn very fast some people learning curve is very fast here so they learn in six months as well some take some more time about a year as well but you will be in a comfort zone you know like how to do that uh, in order to do it much better you will require some more time as well so around six months or one year you can consider it, then you will become a proficient developer as well in Appian I hope this answers your query about like uh, how much time does it take to learn Appian let's move on to next question that uh, okay fine six months or one year is fine and one month for the beginning as well is there so what kind of applications I can build it so you can see like I have even in my 
channel as well i have published multiple applications that are there for example travel reimbursement i have discussed on that one medical test poc is there it help desk is there complaint management and that is through api only and then acme solution is there present now acme solution is also present there so all these applications you can build it for example see this is a travel reimbursement form a no simple form is there once you submit the data the date one record of your data is created in the database as well and one task is even sent to the approver as well and the approval will click on that task and they can either approve it or reject it so something like this workflow is there then something like uh, you can make a medical test poc as well whether you are adding a patients here okay and you are able to check on the records of the patient you can go to a patient and you can check that uh, what are the different test order for this patients as well and finally you can build some reports as well like uh, how many diabetes patients are there if i click on diabetes which patients actually has diabetes how many of normal are there so all these things you will be able to get it we have also created one complaint management application that is complete through api you won't see any create or add button here it is just like uh, all the is coming from external system only okay next is like the it help desk ticket is there it is also a part of case management solution you can say kind of so here you will be able to create tickets and all and finally some reports you can prepare here and you can go on to a particular ticket and you can even add comments for functionality and all these things you can add it there these things are there then there is something as loan approval is there so here you will be able to get the loan tasks what are the tasks for the loans and all okay here you will be able to take decision on that loan and then the reports functionality as well obviously there so these are the particularly applications that you can uh, create into uh, appian here in order to jump start your career let's move on to our next question that is like uh, what are the learning resources so i have shown you one resource that uh, you can build various application apart from that obviously uh, the be one of the best learning experience you will get directly from the appian community as well so appian has a lot of academy videos are accessible and their documentation is also there uh, their documentation is also one of the best documentation that you will see step by step and with examples you uh, you will be able to get all the different concept knowledge in detail there you will be able to get and obviously there is appian community and the community is very active and uh, within one or two hour you will get responses for your questions as well so that community is very active and finally uh, even if you are looking to jump start into learning appian i have my two uh, courses on to appian that is one is crash course and another is api course so in the crash course basically like if you go in the crash course i have covered like all the different basic things like before starting application what you have to do the what are the different expressions in appian how to start expressions what are the different functions in there okay process models we have discussed about a poc the records are there and uh, even the common errors that are present there that might you might encounter so that has also been covered in detail here there is another poc okay the the complete api and web api is there so if you are looking to advance your learning you want to know about how to test with postman here so you can opt for this poc as well web api authentication details and all appian and google drive connection is there and then finally there is one poc so dedicated around 7.5 hours here as well and dedicated time of around 8.5 hours here as well so both this poc are covered along with that appian academy videos and all is there so a tot overall you will get a good package and within a short period of time you will be able to learn a lot of things as well let's move on to our next topic that is okay fine i got to know about uh, i got to know about the learning resources how much time it will take me to learn and all so after learning like whether there is any requirement for the developers or not right this is a very valid question here so see there are growing appian is a growing field right now it is in trending in the market and many customers are opting to buy appian and all here so demand is growing here but only problem recently that has come here is that there is kind of entry barrier here when you will actually go to apply for jobs you will see that most of the clients are actually looking for 3 or 4 year of experience in appian relevant experience i am talking about not the total total can be more as well but minimum you should have 3 4 year to in order to become eligible one or two year back it was around uh, 
people were like uh, people were switching even after two years in Appian as well but right now the criteria they have increased two years it is it will be very difficult only a few companies will hire for two plus year of experience but most of the companies are currently hiring at least for three to four years of a year of experience only so you need to have that much of experience then you won't face that much difficulty in finding a better job into Appian as well and finally get make sure that once you have learned all these things you should get certified at least you should have associate level of certificate if you have already learning Appian for the last six months you should have at least associate level certificate once you have like learned more about Appian more advanced concepts and all you can also go for senior certificate as well after some time maybe if, if you are in a project or something because if you have a senior developer certificate you will be eligible for most of the roles as well so these were all about the important questions and doubts uh, that I have collected so far. So let me know more of your doubts as well uh, so that I will be able to answer those questions. And in the end, I just want to say that just keep exploring Appian and lear keep learning about new things in Appian as well. I wish you all the best in your learning journey. Thank you.